what's up everybody it's your favorite keep you at arm's length favorite nerd and today we are looking at the last two releases of the iron factory bruticus which they call war giant blasters booter spear and spin vulture so i would guess if i was a betting man that i've already released the video with bruticus in it so you guys actually at this point know how i feel about this better than i do but we should look at these releases as well since they are independent releases and what is going on with the old tripod mag in order to do so we have to start with accessories he comes with two bruticus hands obviously because what good are these bots without hands and they are all done well there's two different clip-in methods but they're stylized the same and that is to say a coat of silver and then a coat of gunmetal on the the top of the the hand Vortex comes with two of these guns. They are uh, stylized the same. Black plastic here, silver finish there on the barrel. He can hold them and they can plug into the back of his shoulder or on his arm. Pretty much old school Iron Factory style where they can just fit in any five millimeter port for the most part. Do you know what I mean? You can use them to tab into the forearms here in helicopter mode. He also comes with his propeller blades and they can open up, they hinge here. They obviously spin as well. There are silver paint applications added to all the center pieces, and then this can peg in obviously to the top of the uh, helicopter, but also to any other five millimeter port. And the propeller obviously plugs in here, and then you just adjust the spin as to where you want it. He comes with the canopy of the not to be confused with a can of peas and this uh blaster part we had the light blue plastic and then the dark blue paint apps added and he can hold this as well the can of peas tabs in here and it's a little tricky but you can get it there there's this gun which i'm assuming is for blast off the barrel can flip back and you have two different pegs here four or five millimeter ports and that one can fold up he can hold it but it is not the best fit uh but he can hold it it's it's because of the the sculpt of the the wrist and then the hand and the way that it kind of bumps out you see so that's not the best but he can hold it you can put it in his hand sideways to hold it like a champ uh, but it can plug into a number of different places and you can plug this in to the top side if you so desire and he comes with this piece of weaponry as well these things can flip around also the multiple pegs and ports to kind of utilize the same way you know whatever you want to do and you can split those guns and peg them into the underside of the wings and he comes with a shockwave for Bruticus, which is pretty awesome. You had the translucent lens up here, the targeting, and then you had the real kind of hose here that plugs in the silver paint finish with translucent inside of the barrel and then the translucent at the bottom. So that's a pretty cool accessory to include. And then it comes with two display bases for each, so that's nice. You can swivel a bit here and you can hinge here and hinge here and you have an adapter piece as well. This adapter here plugs into here and then it goes in around the waist. And the same for Vortex. So we'll start with Blast Off. The head is on a ball peg. Um, it's a little loose, but you can get down a little bit, not much up, and then the swivel. The head does look disproportionately small to me, like it looks very tiny, but it's it's ultimately okay. We have silver paint on there and then pink paint or purple paint maybe for the eyes. The same paint is applied here on the chest and we have silver paint on the chest as well. Speaking of the chest, you do get a waist swivel, so that's cool. And then you get a hinge on the shoulder that comes out to a ball peg for the shoulder so you can get up. And I think, yeah, you can get all the way up, no problem. <clears throat> you can get all the way around. You have a bicep swivel, single hinged elbow that gets you at least 90 degrees, and wrist swivel. Uh, a couple paint accents, the silver paint there on the shoulder. Same for the other side. You have T-jointed ball joints for hips. They get you pretty much the whole Van Dam. Let's take a look. Yeah, not quite, but very close. And then the full Monty. And then you have a thigh swivel, 
you have a single hinge knee that gets you a little shy in 90 degrees, so that's not the best. And then you have an ankle. It's on this hinge to this ball peg. It's pretty much for the foot. So you get a little bit of an ankle rocker. It is definitely a cheat, an ankle tilt up, not really much down. So uh, that's pretty much this guy. We got a couple paint accents, the silver here and here. And then there he is from the back with the uh, purple translucent showing, which doesn't really bother me. I think that that's kind of okay. All right, so let's transform one, straighten up the arms. And then this panel tabs into the side arm there. And it takes a little bit of doing same on this side the head needs to go back inside of the chest cavity there spin the arms around and then bring them together line up these two tabs that'll tab in to the top piece here and I guess you want to actually spin these there and then for down here bring these wings up open up the shins combiner wars the thigh into the calf you want to bring this around and tab the wing into the flank same for this side Combiner Wars, the thigh, and there's a number of moving pieces there, so it can be a little tricky, um, but just, you know, just work around it, you know what I mean? Just make it happen. All right, close up the shins over top, and then these feet, there's something to, maybe like this, yeah, like that, I think. And there he is. And we have Vortex. So the head, once again, is on a ball peg. Kind of a better up, better tolerance as well. Good down. <clears throat> we have red paint on the eyes and silver paint on the mouth. We have the hinge going out to a ball peg, just like Blast Off. So you get a little less because of the, the shoulder design to the chest. But if you go out to the side, you can get it all the way out. So it's ultimately, it'll work, I think, for anything that you need. It's just not as as open there. Bicep swivel. This feels, yeah, double jointed elbow. And then the wrist swivel. And no paint. Oh, we have a little silver paint at right there. Same for the other side. Waist swivel. Silver paint added to the chest. We have T-jointed ball joints for hips that do get you the full Van Dam And the full Monty. Thigh swivel. It feels like it should. Yeah, double jointed knee. The ankle is basically a foot again. So you get a foot tilt up, a little bit down, and a rocker. Some silver paint added to the inside of the leg, and then the blue paint added to the outside. And then there he is from the back. So this one's kind of a little bit more successful in, in terms of its performance as an action figure than Blast Off is. Um, and you can kind of adjust this tail as you see fit, you know. All right, to transform this guy, spin the head around 180. Collapse the elbows here, the double jointed elbow. And then, oh, good grief. I thought that just broke. Uh, tab this into the side flank there. Same on this side. This shouldn't have been a C-clip, and it's got some serious stressing going on in there. This should have been a, uh, a pin. Close this up over top. And then for this, you want to open up here. Open up here. On this side, you just flatten and flatten. And then we are going to flip these around. tab together and tab into the back there 
and then close up these pieces and that's him so here they are in vehicle mode we'll take a look at blast off first uh, size comparison wise they are about the same size and there it is next to tiger track and uh, I think this works for the most part it looks it looks a little off but you know the, they're stylized anyway so I feel like it gets a pass it has landing gear uh, the only problem with the landing gear is if you have the guns in like the landing gear doesn't really sit solid with the guns uh, like it should need to be about there but small potatoes I think honestly so yeah pretty cool I like the way that the purple translucent plastic shows up in the windshield it was placed there for con stickers and stuff so that'll work out nicely you know no real complaints and then for vortex uh, I do really like these stands that they give you you know the propeller spins just fine I think it looks armored up it, it looks maybe even less like vortex and blast off looks like blast off but I wish that this can of peas sat a little I don't know a little better but it doesn't seem to otherwise looks pretty good no real complaints I like the little side guns here and I like the front piece there I just don't like that too much let's get it into arm mode so strip it of all the extra doodads that'll help you out extend the waist which exposes the kind of elbow mechanism and split this now for this you want to remove the blaster part and you want to connect this handle and there's like a little groove section for it and collapse it back together and it's a little tricky to do on camera but I think I've got it and then you take your hand and you plug these two tabs into these two ports and then these two ports into these two tabs easier said than done there uh, for this guy you just untab the wings bring them down fold the wing back same on this side another c-clip that's a stress mark too on there be careful with these that stuff should have all been pinned and then extend the best you can there and that make sure you have this little gap between the purple chest and the the elbow but first let's plug in the hand and we want that plugged in there and then take your two guns to clip together with this bit and slide that up in there Whew. tight fit and there they are and they seem like fine arms you guys know now how I feel about them completely but you know pretty cool I, I like the elbow piece hidden up inside the chest cavity I like the way that the wrists connect this one's a little bit trickier to get in than this one but it seems very solid final thoughts wise I mean I think this one's gonna largely depend on the overall set but I will say blast off has like they both have significant stress marks in their waists like the waist swivel both have significant stress marks blast off the little piece that flips his head back and forth is so stressed I wasn't comfortable using it to get his head out to transform him back into robot mode I took him apart I unscrewed the screws in the back and then lifted the head out because this is done. This piece is done. It's just waiting for the right person to touch it and I am not gonna be that person. So once again, stressing and like that that's my big issue with these guys. Now the combined mode works out then cool, but as an independent purchase with the amount of money that Little Legends figures can cost, for them not to hold up under the wear of play, that's a big issue for me. Other issues that I have is that Blastoff's knees are a little bit limited in terms of range and the head on the ball 
ball joint is a little loose. And then for Vortex, I don't like how the, the shoulders have some limitations. But outside of that, everything works fine. It's just that the, uh, the tolerances and the stress marks are really a bummer. So I can't make this decision for you. I can, if the whole set, if Bruticus turns out well, which you already know by now, I'll recommend the set, but I wouldn't recommend these guys. If they, if these guys didn't turn into arms and form a larger bot, I wouldn't recommend this set because of the potential issues, especially in those waist swivels. If those waist swivels go, figures are done. It's that simple. So I, I, I can't recommend these as an individual purchase, but if the combined mode works out, that's something different. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Yeah.